Would you look at that? iOS 13 is out. Wonder if there are any new HomeKit updates. Let's check it out. Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home. Back again with another one for you. I know it's been a little while, but we in fact are back. And one of the things that we did miss over our little break is the release of iOS 13. Not only iOS 13.0, but also iOS 13.1. So what we'll do in this video is we'll give you kind of a brief overview of just the home tab in this app. We'll look at some of the big overarching features that we got with the new iteration of iOS. And at the end, I'll give you kind of a wrap up of my general thoughts on how it is. So let's jump into it. So let's jump into the home settings to start out with. And as you can see here, it's a pretty familiar site, although some things have been rearranged. Of course, we can always edit the name of our home. We can add people just as we did before. Now, here we have our sensors and not much has changed, but let's go ahead and look at it and we'll discover this kind of together. And we'll look at some different sensors that we have and we'll see if any notifications have been changed and it looks like everything's pretty much the same. So we have the same time and people-based conditions. We have the ability to toggle the notifications on or off and so you know nothing really big changing there and that applies for all sorts of our notifications whether they temperature uh, well not temperature because we don't get notification for temperature but contact sensors motion sensors etc so going into our speakers and tv we we'll tap on this and we'll see if we can get an update for our home pod and it looks like well not yet so the home pod update will be released i believe in the coming days i think it's, it's september 24th or the 30th i think it's a speculative date but we'll see when that happens don't worry we'll be on it as soon as it does um, looking further here we can see all of our different permissions and settings for our speakers our play two speakers those are all the same nothing has really changed there uh, we have this new tab which is hubs and bridges before we just had hubs which is located at the top of the menu and here we have our different home hubs that we have either ipad apple tv or homepod we still don't have the ability to to determine which of those is the primary hub but we can see them there and our also our bridges, any bridges that we have, like the Wemo Bridge, Hue Bridge, all of that is now grouped into one area there, which I think is kind of nice. We also have some updated wallpapers, which is a new addition, and I actually like these quite a bit better than these last three that we have here with the solid blue, green, and the orange there. Um, we'll get six new wallpapers there. Of course, we can add any notes to our home as we could in the past, and we can also remove our home just as we could in the past. We can see here that it's now left justified as opposed to being center justified but really beyond that that's all we have oh, our navigation is a little bit different um, we can actually swipe down to get out of a menu now which I find a little bit kind of confusing and a little bit annoying and we'll look at that in the next episode of our little series here um, but here is our status menu. We can see that not a whole lot has changed here. It's just some information on any of our accessories that need attention or that may be, um, yeah, just to see how they're behaving. Um, editing our control center controls is exactly the same. We tap edit and get our little wiggle. We can move around our scenes there. We can also move around our accessories as well. But really beyond that, there's not a whole lot else to say. Everything is just about the same in those terms. And we can even see if we tap the plus button at the top right, we still have our options for adding accessories and scenes, which hasn't changed, unlike in the Mac OS version of the home app. So there it is. So we can see really from kind of a top-down view, our biggest change we have here is navigation. Um, it's taking me some getting used to. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be completely honest with you. But I imagine after a few weeks, it'll be just, just as normal. But I think I prefer the previous method for navigating both left and right and those sorts of things. 
The combining of homes and bridges into one single tab in the settings, I think is a good idea. I think that should have been that way from the beginning, but now that it's there, I think that's a good thing because we can't really do anything with a bridge specifically if it's in the room. One update I would have liked to see with that is the ability to actually assign which of our home hubs, so our Apple TV, our HomePod, our iPad, which of those is actually our default or our primary home hub. And finally, we got six new wallpapers to choose from in addition to the three that we received from iOS 12. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan when Apple decided to make the switch from the more you know, kind of skeuomorphic images that they used in the past to the more kind of monotone single color. Um, but, you know, it all works out. And in fact, I don't really use them all that much anyway. I use my own photos, so, you know, no big deal there. But the new ones, I think, are great. They have really nice gradients and they're, you know, they're more alive, let's say. So what are some of your favorite features in Apple's Home app for iOS 13? Let us know in the comments down below. Also in the description box down below, you'll find links to our social media at My Home Kit Home, as well as the blog over at myhomekithome.com. If you found the video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you are notified whenever we release a new video. Well, that about does it for this one. In the next installment, we'll be looking at the Rooms tab, so stay tuned for that video. But until then, this has been Dustin with my home video.